and this is the grave of the Purrington family. Now it's really interesting because you have this portico looking design right here and the door which is just made out of concrete. It doesn't do anything. There are seats or benches if you will on each side and you have this concrete kind of foundation here. Now what's really interesting is that when we jump off here you see this window. We look inside and I don't know how well you could see. It's really dusty. The camera could focus. Uh, well my camera isn't really focusing right now but if you could see there's like an opening right there and it actually leads down to a crypt. That is right, there is a crypt underneath this window here. I'm trying to get a better view. I don't know if you can see right there, but there's an opening. Down below to a crypt. Really interesting grave here. Okay, so I made it in. We're going, oof, spider webs. We're going to this underground crypt. Richard S. Purrington. Samuel Augustus Purrington. Jacobina Purrington. It's pretty cool. Moving on from that crypt, we have the Cocker Knot and the Carter family. Same type of style crypt, as you can see, the front portico and then a concrete door in the front with a foundation base, a bench on each side. And then you have the names of the people that are interred here. And then when you walk around, you have this door right here. And more names of the people buried here. The window is broken so you could see the inside here. The steps that lead down to the crypts. Really interesting concept.